the concept of sum in Chinese, the word sum, yi xie, can be used before any noun. So you need to remember Chinese nouns are really easy to learn since they are gender free. So as in English, the word yi xie, some, could be omitted. So if you mean uh, you have bread or ice cream, if you mean that just in a general sense, bread or ice cream, some. Now this is interesting. The combination of pu tiao, grape, and jiao, alcohol, makes the word wine. Pu tiao jiao. Now, jiao is also combined with other um, other characters to indicate various alcoholic beverages. So it's really easy to do that. So this is the deal. In lesson six, you're going to learn to talk about things you have and want. You're going to learn to talk about what other people have and want. And finally, you're going to learn how to express the concept of some or any before a noun. Oh, one last thing. Remember, Chinese only has plural pronouns. No plural nouns. Really? In Chinese, people do say one apple, two apple, and three apple. It's kind of like a trade-off, you know. Um, Chinese characters and tones are really, for me, they were really difficult. Oh, one last thing. This I almost forgot, and this is really good. This easy grammar part of Chinese extends to the verb. Chinese has no verbal conjunctions. That's right. People do say, I have, you have, and he have. Verbs, well, they just stay the same whether the subject is first person or third person. And whether the subject is singular or plural, this just makes learning Chinese a whole lot easier, right? Well, that was quick. That's the grammar lesson. Lesson four minutes, and we're done. Let's link back to lesson six, and we will continue to practice, practice, and practice till we've got it down.